Testing, testing, one, two. It's about one in the morning, Thursday technically. We're leaving for uh, Las Vegas tomorrow, and I'm just now finishing up my packing for my gear bag, and I realize the party starts now. Let's document this shit. Blast off. Oh. Like Joe Perry? Oh, that's so good. Once it hits your lips. Yeah. So good. Hey. So. Wow. Week 43. Three. Otherwise uh, known as the finale. The season finale. Of season one. Of the Piss and Cock Show. We have seasons. <laughs> we do now. We made it longer than a lot of sitcoms. We're like lost. Yeah. And we have a better finale, I hope. Oh. Dude, anything is better than the Lost and Dexter finale. Mm -hmm. Sopranos I never saw, so I don't know. I don't know what you guys did last weekend, but um, Josh and I got muddy. Yeah. And wet and cold. Dude, dude that's and all, all we did was get wet. I dude, swear. Fuck. What's up next? Oh, another water obstacle? Okay. Wasn't the last one a water obstacle? Mm hmm. How's the next one a water obstacle, too? Doesn't matter, get in the water, shut up. They, yeah, they just go on. Excuse me? They didn't tell me there's gonna be so much water? Uh. I didn't Why sign up for this. We gotta yeah. start with our baby. Our baby, yeah. That First off, the Friday pack in three to five, come talk to us thing. It, Friday was so much more chaotic than I realized. Yeah. And it never really transpired the way we had hoped. And we started with good intentions, yeah. totally had the thing all planned out. Mm -hmm. But in all honesty, what ended up happening for everyone, including ourselves, is that in that moment, once we came to game day or day prior, right. Everything was way more important than the Piss and Cock show. Yeah. It wasn't the thing that was the most important right there, and it was very clear right from the get-go it wasn't going to happen. Right. And you know what didn't fucking help? Goddamn registration line. <laughs> Offered to like, like let us come in and stay with you guys in line that were like an hour ahead of us. Let ask you. I didn't I, get asked that fucking once. Oh no. And people were like, hey, "Come sit with us." I was like, "No, we're in the back. It's cool. I don't want to." 
We sat in that line for two fucking hours. And they're like, thanks for staying in that line. Now, would you please stand in this line? Okay. Right. Now, if Ooh, you could almost stand, there. If you could stand in that line, that'd be great. That line. Cool. Well, oh, you're not done. How about that line? Oh, you got right. merchandise? Oh, well, go to that line. I damn near needed to do a line just to stay awake. <laughs> oh, cocaine! Oh, shit! Just, oh, I then, met James Brown. Did you? Yeah. If you met him recently, he lied to you. No, not... Why? Because he did. No, not that James Brown. James Brown from the community. Oh. The one who we made the James Brown joke about. Oh, okay. <laughs> ha, yeah. Makes way more sense. Yeah. Thought you were talking Jim Brown, Brown's legend. No, it's true. Yeah. The only, the only Brown's legend. Or Bernie Kosar, Brian Seip. <laughs> What's what about up? Mark Rippin? <laughs> You're welcome. He was more, more well known as a Redskin. He, but he was also a Brown at he some would. point. Thank you very so much. So was Jeff Garcia. You're, you what? You're thinking of Tim Couch? Is who you're thinking of? <laughs> so the baby thing. We did get a few names actually. People came up and gave us some names. Here, what are we gonna do? We are gonna honor two people in one fell swoop. Get it. Well, the best name out of all the suggestions that we got was from one Brian uh, Muddy, Mutterton. Mutterton, if yep. you will. Will you? You will. He gave me his number one recommendation. So this, you're about to announce the name of the Piss and Cox baby. Our very first baby. Should we announce it sex first? Yeah. Okay. It is a dong carrier. It is? He's gonna fucking name your girl this? No. <laughs> I'd rather name no child this, but whatever. You're naming it's, our child that's, this. That's right. Now the winning name, which also pays homage to another community member, Krebmeister Piscox the First. Welcome to the world, little child. Mm. Imaginary baby that I'm stroking. Is That's this right. how you pet babies? Congratulations to Brian. Thank Muddy you, Brian. Mutter, Mutter, Mutterton. And thank you, Aaron Krebs, for yeah. being inspiration. Who's a hell of a guy, by the way. Dude, fucking so, amazing. So happy to meet that guy. Yeah. Oh, dude. Which, he actually is the one who supplied, once we're done with our angry balls, yep. or my shocked balls, if yep. you will, he brought us a couple beers that we brought back oh, from yeah. Vegas. Our backdrop. Everybody's favorite course designer, Brady, who, of course, is going on what we hope is just a sabbatical. Yeah. He... Temporary, Brady. You make it back. You've got this shirt waiting. Did for you make you. a shirt for Brady? I did, and then I totally didn't have the opportunity to get it to him. Oh, I could have done. I saw him like 19 times, but that's okay. Hey, how about you eat a big bag of shit? I probably did go into some of those obstacles. At the end of the brunch, Brady was like, "Carlo, dude, that banner there behind the stage. I bet that'd be a pretty cool backdrop on the Piss and Cock show." And I was like, "Yeah, it totally would." And he's like, dude, wait, we're probably just gonna throw it away because it says 2015. So if you want it, man, take it." So. Props to Brady for letting us have it. Hell yeah. Props to TMHQ for taking it down and folding up for us. Props to Maddie Gregg for transporting it from Vegas to oh, nice. San Jose for us. Excellent. When I got Thank off the you, Maddie. It's definitely an upgrade and backdrop from what we've had from this last yes. year. This is the jam. This yeah. is the bees right? news right here. It, it's, it's, what we're, it's, it's the basis for all that we talk about, right? Yeah. It's, it's always about worlds yep. long term. Real quick. Yeah. And I'm going to do my best to be really quick. Um, I want, I know, yeah, you're just gonna have to bear with me. Huh? No snarky comments for at least this one minute portion. Uh, seriously? Yeah, I know, I, it's tough. I'll, we can start a timer. Should I get, can I play on my phone at least? You sure. Okay. Yeah, because exactly. this doesn't pertain to you, so yeah, you check out. To everybody who hit their goal, congratulations. <laughs> right. Honest to God, that was a swift dick kick. Uh, if I've ever felt a swift dick kick, and you guys, honest to God, are huge inspirations. You embody everything that this Tough Mudder community is about, your essence of mental grit and emotional fortitude and physicality, ability to go all the way and hit what you set out to do. I mean it when I say. I appreciate that. Absolutely, I looking do. up to you and everyone else who hit those goals to the fullest. My right foot is still much more swollen than my left. Right. I don't know what's going on with my right knee, but we'll figure that out too, but it's okay. Kenoki foot pads. Yeah. It'll just take the toxin right out. You can get them at Michael's. You're welcome. The other people that I want to address mm. uh, who mm. may be watching this are Do the it. people who did not preach hit your goals. Yeah. And I want to let you know that you're still fucking incredible. Absolutely. I'm amongst you. Yep. And here's the thing about this course, and it's something that I talked about with a lot of people on lap three. How many people had to revise their goals right. once they saw the actual difficulty level of this course right. and the fuckery that it brought with it? Lots of fuckery tons of fuckery, yeah. a truckload of fuckery, and yeah. then another trip back to bring more fuckery yeah. along Seriously. with it. Seriously. At all Who ordered the, the truckload of fuckery? I've got yeah. a whole uh, second truckload of all fuckery. All of you? Let me just dump this, this all yeah. on you. I want to let you know that you have nothing to hang your head low about. Because Absolutely Because this not. brought 
the fucking titans of the sport to its knees. You it showed did. up. There is a silver lining in every single situation, and number one for every single one of us is a learning experience. Yep. We got to highlight the things that we still need to work on while at the same time truly giving it our all. I've never uncontrollably cried for no reason in my life until this weekend. I'm crying, and I, I don't know why exactly, but I'm gonna go cry now for a little bit. Leave me alone. Welcome, wel welcome well, back Friday. That's it. Yeah, sorry buddy. I really want to set the tone for anybody who's disappointed with yeah. themselves. Above the silver lining of having the learning experience, I was able to find a few more silver linings in my performance in the fact that I went 25 miles, four hours faster than I covered 25 miles last year on go. a much more difficult course. So yeah. what that does is that tells me that I was on the right track. Yeah, absolutely. And my goal is 50 miles. Right. I ended up hurting my shoulder a bit, getting busted up on hydroplane. But even without that, I, I I think I would have topped out at 40. I, I yeah. you know that that course was a nut cruncher, a real big punch to the groin. And even then, even then, no matter where I ended up falling, I gave my absolute everything. I learned a lot about myself, and I hope I hope to God that there are people out there that are going. You know what? I did too. Yeah. Even if it wasn't the performance that I intended on having, that's all right. Iron sharpens iron, and in this moment, you might have felt the fire and hammer strikes, but eventually it's gonna forge you into a better person. That's what I'm going forward yeah, with. I am so excited to have been there, to have witnessed. Yeah. Even after getting knocked out at 3 a.m., it was fucking wonderful turning into pit crew for you. Oh, and dude, being, that was so great to have you guys. Dude, knowing when you were coming in and keeping track of the race 360 and getting to the finish line when we know you'd be coming uh, to that lap. Dude, that was a special dude, moment being an observer. Faces? Oh. Dude, it, it was it was fantastic. Yeah. And so you got to be there to witness greatness. You got to be a part of greatness. So keep your head held high, you fucking savages. All of you. And I want people yeah. to be able to watch this feeling comfortable, whether you made it one lap, two laps, maybe 10, 15, fucking 19, Trevor two. and Chad. No one got the 200,000 grand prize that we promised if someone oh. hit 200 miles. Well, Little like, disappointing. Pussies. Yeah. yeah. Lowest percentage of 50 mile babes given out out of any of the world's toughest mutters ever. I, I'm not surprised by that at all. Yeah. Like, what you're looking at. Two 50 milers. That's what I'm saying. Just took me two of them. <laughs> exactly. That's all. But together, uh, we get... are fucking 50 miles strong. 50 it? mile twins. 50 mile twins. Choosies. I just chose to do mine at one time. Yeah, you know what? I like to spread things spread out things a out. little bit. Exactly. You know, I like mm -hmm. to, yeah, I'm really good at compartmentalizing. So now, we were able to go to the dinner together. Yeah, the, the sock dinner. Absolutely. It was way fucking different than last year. Way rowdier. There was a lot more community, like, oh, everyone man. like, oh, hey, oh, my God, than there was last year. Ken Jacobus was kind of there. Oh, I groped the shit out of Big I know Ken. I did. See what, what I did. Tim Holt and Scott McCracken did. Oh, absolutely. And little... All I'm saying is they got my sloppy seconds and thirds. <laughs> <laughs> the Fiesta Hotel was definitely a Fiesta in that suite. Are you just going to do this the whole time? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, just you mind? Look at you it. Mind? I tried to stay as humble as I could all weekend, but now I'm like, yeah, guess just what? Just saving it up for Mom! this. Mom! Fucking wait staff. Yeah, oh, they, the wait staff's fucking they awesome. They fucking worked their ass off. Yeah, I ordered late, they were still friendly and smiley and happy, and I guess they had good things to say about us as a community, Excellent. which I totally appreciate. They were like, look, we had way more people than we expected, and it was like, but everyone was like kind and courteous, and which I expect, because the community is a great place. And I, so Sock Dinner was amazing. Now, you ought to go to the comedy show that I did not get to. It's, how was the comedy show? For me, there was, there was three highlights of the comedy show. First was which, they we got to finally see the trailer for Rise, Rise of the, the Suffer Fest, Fest, Scott Keneally's documentary. When he told me they were gonna play it, I was like, mm, so excited, because I can't wait for that fucking thing yeah. to get finished and come out. He's so, so handsome, and he's got great hair. He's a good looking dude. Mm -hmm. Sean emceed the thing, of yeah. course, and shared some stories about some of his early comedy days and stuff, That's which awesome. was great. I would've loved to um, been there to see that. And Clinton, I mean, that dude's fucking hilarious. There was a large group of us who saw him in San Francisco. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, yeah. The punchline. Yeah. Dude is phenomenal. The other two guys were funny and made me laugh. Clinton knows his audience and like and, and spoke kind of spoke to us more from the heart and more directly. Right. So that that to me was was the best. So yeah, it was great. Uh, and the dinner was great. Um, the buffet was very buffet like. Smelly cat, smelly cat. What are they feeding you? Friday night was was phenomenal. Especially yeah. considering I was working on like three hours sleep from the night before. Eight. Staying out till four in the morning, Friday morning didn't help, but I mean, you Dude, know. yeah, you were nuts for that one. Hey, buddy. This is the piss and concho. Let's go back to sleep now. If Justin buys you lots of drinks, <laughs> it's gonna hurt now.
This is our last episode of the year. I'll be recovering. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't how I saw the night going, but but it's how it went. It's how it <laughs> went. Our pit crew. Oh man. I said you guys have to act like my pissing cocks entourage. One of you is hair and makeup. Oh, One of you is security. Oh, that'd be that'd be Tammy. Yeah. Tammy's security. Yeah. Maggie, it. you're you're the medical. Yeah. I'm the first response. Am I am I the groupie? This is that point where I want to say we definitely had the best pit crew out there. I might be biased, it, little, no. In all, I mean, it, just anybody who is there who is pitting for a runner or a participant, right. you are an angel in any capacity. Seriously. You are willing to be there. You yep. were there at the lowest of your runner's points, whether you had a successful runner or a runner who had to tap out due to injury or right. not able to hypothermia, whatever Seriously. it may be. You were a support system for that runner. Yeah. And the things that you did, being able to give the runner everything that they needed and being ready and willing to do whatever it takes to make sure that it was a successful yeah. race yeah. all around. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is why I think that the pit crews definitely should get a headband. Of some sort. Right, yes. like a blue pit crew headband. Something, like yes. Something to recognize that you also were up 24 hours. Fuck yeah. That you also kicked major ass major. in helping your runner get yeah. to their goals. Right. There was a lot of times where, uh, say, we're all out on course, I know our pit crew helped out a ton of other, other people. people. We were stationed right next to Eric Panu. Oh, dude, they... Which was fucking amazing. Yes. Eric, you're the fucking, uh, fucking man. Dude, I... There are a few people in this world greater and cooler than Eric Panu. I'm not even kidding. Now, seriously, I mean that. Like, did of my they heart. tell you? Did our pit crew tell you about helping him into his new wetsuit? Dude, I fucking I was. No offense to our pit crew. I was trying to get a little help from the pit crew, and I was like, "Hey, I'm back, everybody!" And Man, there was like three. Eric Panu takes precedence. There was man. three of them like you can in, sit the fuck down and wait his, till Eric's his done. His stand up tent. They're all just like, just keep shaking your wrist, leg yeah. thing, and they're like fucking. Ar, ar. His dick is so big. Yeah. Right. Dick. Yeah, what? yeah, yeah. When I would come back in the pit, what I wanted was I wanted my hungry senior waffle, my banana, and I wanted my tailwind. And it was like the chair that I sat in had my towel, had my drink in it, and had it, it was just laid out. So it yep. was just I sat down and I started going, and they helped Eric or whatever they had to do. And it was just like and yeah. I, when I was asked me how I was doing, did my little health check, and it was like when I was done, I was like. I'm gone. It's like being in NASCAR. Yeah. And just... <laughs> go out there. Go get him. Yeah. Don't Dale Earnhardt yourself. Whoa. What? <laughs> Did I... Whoa. <laughs> Since we're talking about pit crew, mm -hmm. I want to do two things. Mm -hmm. I want to give a very personal oh. thank you to Kara Jones, my better half. It's our four-year anniversary today Aww. as we take this. Yeah. Fucking all the shit out of it. Maggie Shuck. Maggie. Yep. Tammy Tuminello. Oh, Tammy and Sean Barnett. Yeah. That was our pit crew. They were the dedicated few that came and said, we're willing to put up with you at your worst. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's our pit was amazing. Tammy was kind of like, was like my designated pit person and she was amazing. Yeah, she drew the shortest straw. But, and this is so great because it was a competitor who got injured. And then- Anne. Anne. Fucking uh, right. Right. It's Volpair. Vol and you know it's Volpair. Vol 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 Just shut yes. your mouth. And shut your mouth. <laughs> she injured herself. I think she tore her LCL or she strained it or something like yeah. that. She had an MRI On already. vertigo. On vertigo. Fuck that thing. I don't know how she figured it out, but like every time I crossed the finish line, like and came around the corner, fucking there she was. And she, come on, Carla, keep moving. Get your pit. Don't stay long. Get get in there. Get your food and get out. Don't stop yeah. moving. Don't stop moving. And it was like, and I'd go sit down. And if I was there too long, she'd come by and she'd check on me and make sure I was okay. And then I'd get up and she'd, go, 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 don't stop, go, go, go. Don't worry about it, go, go, go. It was so inspiring. I was just like, okay, I'm going. Uh, I'm gonna go now. Oh, and she's I'm, buzzing around on her crutches. I don't want, like, I don't you thank could you. see her every yeah. tent to tent and coming back, oh, like fuck. recircling. And she, her and Kara were my neoprene sock angels. Oh, I had to go from my little thin, uh, my kayaker's gloves to my three mil Kevlar gloves at like lap seven after I had sausage fingers. Right. And Anne. And and Tammy, I swear to God, we worked 15 minutes. Yeah. Just fucking. Tell it felt on my socks fucking, where they're just. Deep, <sighs> rock, heave, just ho, stand heave, up, stand on your tiptoes. I'm like, I am on my tiptoes. Pit crew, for sure. Everyone. Matthew Lowe would come over and check on us when we came in. You know. Yeah. That was the best part. Is people who had maybe a rough race and it didn't go their way. It was like 
they didn't just necessarily like go camp out in their tent for the rest of the day. Right. They came out and they were they like. They went and they traveled, they handled business. Yes. I know that was one of my favorite parts was once I was, you know, had come yeah. to that like, nope, I'm done with my race. I wanted to make a point to be able to see people finish, see yeah. how people were oh, doing. Oh, so nice. It was so. Just being a part of that dude. was, oh God. But you could hear like, go get it, Carlo. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And you're like high-fiving dudes who are coming in. You're like, don't stay too long. Do good. Get out there, man. How about it? It was just yeah. like. It was amazing. I it, fucking. It's oh. a testament to it what makes, makes you stand the stand up community. Community, Taller, so amazing. chest out. It was just like, right. here I go. Yes, good job. And then I get to the start line and I see that hill and I'd be like, Ugh. a memory that I've got when yeah. I was pitting. Get my second pair of gloves and I'll put those on. Yeah. And I go to put them on, motherfucking OJ Simpson in that shit. Stupid. Where it's like, like, this fit before I fucking came here. Yeah. Yeah. And, and like for a second, I'm like, did I like accidentally steal some children's gloves? Most likely. And then I look at my hands and realize that they're Mickey Mouse hands. Dude, you can't go, see your knuckles, oh. right? There's no knuckle definition Dude, whatsoever. Nothing, no nah. like bones on your hand. No, no, no veins. Nothing. Just you. Ooh. You push this side, and this side goes. Yeah, yeah bro. You push this turns side, into this fucking side whales goes. turds yeah. on your hand. Yeah. Although I wouldn't have been found guilty. Oh, this is a fun full circle fact. What? We saw the hotel that O.J. Simpson oh, yeah. got arrested in. We did. For, yeah. Yay. Get it? That was our pit, Sean Barnett. He lives in Vegas, yeah. and we're driving by it on our way to race day. And he goes, there's O.J. Simpson's favorite hotel. We were also yeah. pitted next to Jared Hamlin. Fucking, oh, yeah. And he comes up, and he goes, how fucking lucky am I to be next to uh, Eric? Such a cool dude. Yeah, yeah. It was really awesome being yeah. pitted next to Jared Hanley because I felt like we got to see him um, a lot of the time. Yeah. And uh, just a familiar face and someone where you got to interact with him in the community. It was really, Jared, what I'm saying I love is that guy. thank you. Behind us was. I got 50 fucking miles. Do you understand that? Look, I'm a 50 miler too. I know. Just, I'm just ride that, that out. might happen a couple more times throughout the show, by the way, when it, when it dawns on me that I got 50 miles. So <laughs> you're gonna but, get a couple more drinks in. Yeah, 50 miles. Exactly. <laughs> Behind us, yeah. I want to give a huge shout out to the Christians, um, and not the religious ones. All of, oh, <laughs> all of you worldwide. Amen. You mean James Christian and which and Devin I, and I, Devin was a. Hey! We're having an intermission right now while Josh goes and scolds his dog. Um, I will take this time to point out Josh received a generous gift from the men at Team Bacon Grease, who are fantastic guys. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Nothing's going on right now. I feel like it was just you going 50 miles, 50 miles, 50 miles, 50 oh, miles. Oh, I should have. Go away again. James and Devin Christian. Yeah. They were. Amazing. Devin especially, holy shit. Pregnant and all was just, she was like pit mama number two. Just yeah. getting shit done and having an amazing attitude about it. And also Shawnee. Oh, Shawnee, funny. birthday girl. The Happy dirtiest 30th birthday. 30. Is, Absolutely. That's about as dirty as your 30 can be. She was the reason why we had such an excellent pit spot. Because we were all the way down. Oh, that's right. Like, we were about to set up. Away. Away. Yeah, and she comes up like, hey, three, three spots. Three spots in a row. They just kind of opened up. There was people there. They moved somewhere else. <coughs> Fuck uh, yeah. Yeah, thank you. I forgot about that. Thank yeah, you, Yeah, oh, got to give props where props are due. Kara punched Shawnee in the vagina. She did. She did. Girls will be girls. I know, <laughs> right? Uh, just leave them alone for two minutes. <laughs> mm. oh, a cooter punch. Kind of have to. <laughs> 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 we were right across from uh, Camp 805. I feel bad because it was all SoCal and Luigi. <laughs> Let's not forget the most Italian of all the Italians. We were like oh petty corner to, to Massimo. Massimo Brunelli, Brunelli yeah. makes you look like a Polish immigrant named John Smith. Every interaction with yeah. Massimo, it left me just like, Mwah! Yes, and BJ Calano were like, yeah, I like, want to be Italian like him. Yeah. Although PJ was eating Italian sausage as his food in between laps. And I love that he offered it to you, and you're like, I do want I that. I do want some. He's you know, like, dude, I was having a link each lap, and I was like, I'll take some, please. And it was very good. It was cold, greasy, don't care. It was great. You know who else was a fucking badass oh, pit crew mama? Amanda McCracken. I she, met her after the race was already done. Did you meet like, her, And we were... Did you meet her twins? 
Amanda, it was awesome meeting you yeah. at the end of the race. And the twins. Didn't get to meet your twins. Are those her hands? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Because that's what I told her. Big that old, was my big like, old hands. I hear big that you're able to just cure anything, like big turn hands. water into wine and turn injuries into exceptional. Big hands. What? She did some massage work on me in between laps 9 and 10, which was just like, oh, thank you so much. And you Dude, did. you wouldn't even let me do some massage work on you. That's why, though. Only a man knows what a whoa, man wants, whoa, Carla. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's what I'm saying. We can't talk about the pit without throwing a huge shout out to uh, Tracy Watson. Tracy motherfucking Watson. The Orphan Tank. Vanessa Aranda. Let me throw that out oh, there. Oh, by the way, happy wedding to the Arandas. Happy married for life. Probably one of the best weddings I've ever been to in my entire life. Dude. Chris is about to get married. You're so handsome. <laughs> Which we all found out, Chris. Vanessa's the boss, homeboy. Tracy, thank yeah. you for being a national mutter monument. Thank you for just your energy, for doing all that you do and Please. doing it so selflessly. Yeah. Driving here and driving back Good from Lord. Kenyatta. And with Christopher Buddy Watson, which, homeboy, you're a handful and I love you. Damn. That's gonna you be got some energy yeah. on you. Yeah. I fucking love it. Hey, guess what? Hey, guess what? Hey, guess what? Hey, guess what? Between him I'm and trying. Drake, I'm you are, have no shortage of energy. Yeah. If you are feeling down, you just get yourself around Christopher Buddy Watson and yeah. Drake Stumbo. Oh, you dude. are That's all you need. You plug so into good. those guys, you're yeah. good for a few more laps. Stay tuned for part two at, at some point when it'll be released. I don't know when, but stay tuned for Carlo and I's course breakdown and stories of people we met along the course. But until then, enjoy this video of me chasing a pigeon at the car rental place in Vegas. Come here, little fella. We're making a new TV show. Pigeon Cox. Don't run away from your stardom. This is your chance. You can show all those other birds. You can show those doves that you don't need to be all white to be fabulous. Don't you run away from me. Oh yeah, heard of a wild goose chase. This is more like a domesticated pigeon trot. Into the abyss, don't you fly away, I'll find you. I've been training for this. I've been training to track Vegas. Where are you going, man? You got an agenda? This is good stuff, actually. Maybe you're gonna lead me to treasure. Maybe you're like a bird leprechaun and I have no idea and then we hit it big in Vegas. Maybe you're a symbol of luck that we need. Screw a rabbit's foot. Follow a pigeon, it'll take you all the gold. We going to the Luxor? You wanna go to the Luxor? Are you thinking more Harris? You wanna go to Harris? You ever been to the Eiffel Tower? We're gonna be at the Hard Rock later. I hear there's some pretty good food over at the Hard Rock. 